Hey guys, uh, this is Justin Polite, and uh, we're going to be working on uh, this next seminar. And in this seminar, uh, we're multiplying, um, we're multiplying and dividing um, uh, algorithms and manipulatives. So in this first problem that I have here, uh, we are in base five, and the problem is one three base five times one two base five. And so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do this in the lattice method. We're just going to multiply um, these using the lattice method. So we make a box right here, like I made right here. And then um, we go ahead and do a, um, a uh, slash through each box. And uh, then we write um, our first term, which is 1, 3, or uh, 1, 3, um, which is our, our first one right here. And we write 1 and 3. And then one and two, just like this right here. And then what we do first is uh, we just uh, look at our one and our three, and we go ahead and multiply. And we want to keep in mind that we're in base five so when we're multiplying. So one times three is three. So um, what that gives us is it gives us um, it gives us not one five, so that's zero, but it does give us a three with the leftover of three. So we write down three. And then we multiply 2 times 3, which is 6. So at a 6, when base 5, we can get 1, 5, and we can get 1 left over. So that's what we write right there, right there. And then so over here, we'll do 1 times 1, which is 1. And so we, we have 0 5s, and we have 1 left over 1. And then we do 2 times 1 which is two, so we have zero fives and two left over. So in order to calculate um, the answer, what we do is uh, we kind of go through this crossways. So uh, we have one, so we just write down one, and then we look at three and one and two, and all we do is we just uh, we add these. So three plus one is four, plus two is six. Um, and since we're in base five, six is one five and one left over. So we would write we would write the one left over right here and the one five right up here. And then now we do this one. So it's all well, we have is one and one. So that makes two. So we put down two and then that's it. So in base five, one three multiplied by one two gives us two one one in base five in lattice method. Um, now in, uh, in division, let's go, let's hop over to the division side. Um, we'll just go right here with this problem. Um, we have, uh, we have one, two base five and, um, the dividend, we have four, three, one base five. And, uh, so what we got to keep in mind is obviously that we're in base five. Um, and we've also got to look at these numbers a little bit better. So one and two is not 12 and it's not one and two. When we look at this in base 5, this is actually 1, 5, and 2 left over. So that's actually 7. And um, so we look at this number as being the 25's place. And um, that would be 100 and uh, 5, 10, 15, 116 right there in base 10. So basically what we do is since this is 7, and um, we're trying to get to four. There's no way that we can that we can do that. So we go on to the this place right here, the tens place, or the fives place. And so um, we look at uh, five, and then we look at this number. And this number is not 43. It's actually uh, five. Um, that's actually 23 because five times four is 20 plus one is three, so that's 23. And so we know that seven can go into 23 three times. And that gives us 21. So the, how we write 21 is 4, 1. And so we get the answer right here reduced down to 2 and 1. So this is actually 5, 10. This is actually 11. And then what we do is uh, we look at how many times can 7 go into 11. And that's one time. So then we write down uh, 7 right here. So that's 1, 5, 2 left over. And then we get uh, four remainder out of that. So the answer for this is three, one, uh, remainder of four in base five. 
So that's how we do this. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty easy, but it, it's really tough uh, sometimes is what I found. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean the, uh, the multiplication, there's different methods. There's the traditional, there's Egyptian, uh, there's not only just the lattice and there's also uh, base blocks. Um, we've also, um, uh, we could do that also for division and not just multiplication problems. Um, so, uh, so yeah, um, I would say, um, I do have my written out, um, answers over here of what I thought about this seminar. I'll go ahead and read them off. Um, I apologize for the camera being shaky. Um, I'll just kind of read this. It says that the role for manipulatives in modeling operations on whole numbers, um, they provide a visual reference uh, in representation and calculations that can help assist our minds when symbols cause grief. Uh, manipulatives provide ease with a hands-on tool that we can use to add, subtract, and multiply, and divide that normally we would not be able to see or touch. Uh, what I learned uh, that in order to be good at mathematics is you have to learn mathematics, and I have heard this um, before, um, and uh, I do believe in it because, um, you know, we can all do a problem like 10 times 10. Uh, we have learned how to add, subtract, and multiply, and divide in a different uh, number-based system uh, than we are used to. In this class, we've learned that. Uh, we are able to see uh, 13 base 5, or 1, 3 base 5 times 1, 2 base 5, and know that the problem reads 1 and 3 base 5 times. So just interpreting the problem is, is a big step ahead. And, uh, and 2 base 5 and not 13 base 5 times uh, 12 base 5. I don't know, it kind of gets confusing, but basically it's just understanding that this is not 13, this is not 12, uh, this is not, um, and the reason why is because this is ba in base 5, and uh, basically that just means that um, this number, th this right here, which we think is 13, is actually uh, 8, because uh, this place right here is the 10's place, this is the 1's place in base 5, and since our numbers don't go all the way up to 10, they go up to 5, uh, this is a 5 right here, and this is the leftover 3, and that gives us 8. This would be the 5, this would be the leftover 2, this would give us 7. Um, we learn how to model these problems from the uh, start of the problem to the end of the problem. Uh, we solve the problems using multiple methods, base blocks, lattice, uh, just like I said before, traditional Egyptian, and we understand why it works. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I, I, it wasn't much for this seminar for me. Um, I had a little more difficulty uh, with this seminar, and it wasn't because of, um, it, it really was just because I was having troubles with, um, with remembering everything that's involved. So I think once you get all the, uh, all the basics understood, um, it makes solving the problem a lot easier. Um, so I think that in due time, uh, with more practice, I will be able to be um, a lot better at, at solving these problems. But I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys liked my teaching method. Um, I will do better next time. And uh, I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.